In this question, we are asked to write an equation for the quadratic function with roots 5, 0 and 12, 0 that passes through the point 8, 6. We have to take this form of our equation and plug in. The 6 and the 8 go in the y and x positions. and the 5 and the 12 go in the x1 and x2 positions. Eight minus five is three, eight minus 12 is negative four. And that simplifies to six equals negative 12a. Divide both sides by negative 12. And we find that a is equal to negative one-half. Plugging this a value into the same form of the equation, we get y equals negative one-half x minus, and then we use the x-coordinates of the zeros again, five and twelve, and if we simplify, we can turn this into either standard form or the ABC form. So our final equation in ABC form is y equals negative one-half x squared plus seventeen-halves x minus thirty. In this example, we are asked to find the quadratic equation that has roots at negative three and two and passes through the point negative one, negative two. Plugging the point negative one, negative two into this form, we have negative two equals a negative 1 minus, and negative 1 minus over here. Plugging the roots into the x1 and x2 positions, we have a negative 3 and a 2. Now we'll simplify. Negative 2 equals a times 2 times negative 3. Negative 2 equals negative 6a. And if we divide both sides by negative 6, we get a equals positive 1 third. Now, we plug our a value and our roots into the form again, and we leave the y and the x in place. minus negative 3 is x plus 3. x plus 3 times x minus 2 is x squared plus x minus 6. So our final equation is y equals 1 third x squared plus 1 third x minus 2. This is how you find the equation of a quadratic when you are given both zeros and another point that the curve passes through.